Hello, Panda. What are you doing? Oh, I am looking for information about water. Oh, you know what? Matias is going to tell us something about that. Great. That way I don't have to look for information. Thanks, Matias. No problem, Panda. We are going to talk about matter. And we are going to see the definition of matter, properties of matter, states of matter, states of water, which is what you are looking for, changes of states, and pure substances and mixtures. First of all, matter. Matter is everything that takes up space. Each type of matter is a substance. Light, sound, or thoughts are not matter because they don't take up space. Properties of matter. Color, shape, size, and smell are some properties of matter. The properties in common are mass and volume. Mass, it is the amount of matter in an object. We measure mass in kilograms. Volume, it is the amount of space an object occupies. We measure volume in liters. States of matter. A solid has a fixed shape and a fixed volume. A liquid doesn't have a fixed shape, takes the shape of the container, but has a fixed volume. A gas doesn't have a fixed shape or a fixed volume. It occupies the container it is in. States of water. Water is found everywhere on Earth. You can find it in all three states, liquid, solid, and gas. Clouds are made up of small drops of water and ice crystals. A geyser or geyser is the eruption of vapor and whole water. Ice is solid water. Snow is made of ice. It forms when water vapor freezes. Liquid water is found in oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes. Changes of state. Here you are a picture explaining the different changes of state. For example, we can go from solid to liquid applying heat and it is called melting and the opposite applying cold is called solidification. And we can go from gas to liquid, which is called condensation, applying cold and evaporation is the opposite going from liquid to gas if we apply heat. Pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are made up of a single type of matter. Oxygen, diamonds, sugar, water are pure substances. A mixture is two or more things put together. In homogeneous mixtures, we can see the components and the opposite in the heterogeneous mixtures. And here you are an example. If you mix sand and water, you can see both components. But if you mix sugar and water, you cannot see them both. Wow, Panda, that was so interesting. Yes, and you know what? Now I don't have to look for the information about water. Thanks, Matthias. Bye-bye.